Hello, I am Benedict Tafo. Welcome to my channel. To you today, I will take you through step by step protocols or method of planting and growing this Arabidopsis thaliana plant. Why Arabidopsis? Like I have explained it before in my previous video, Arabidopsis uh, is not a plant you can eat, it's a model plant, meaning it is used in doing experiments. The genome is sequenced, it has short life cycle, you know what I'm saying? So you can extract the leaf, the shoot or the leaf, and this is to do experiment. In my case, I used to do protein experiment or metabolic experiment. So, if you want to plant Arabidopsis, this is a very tricky plant. Okay, so stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. I will explain how it's done here, and I will watch you demonstrate how I planted it and how it grew to even the level of making seeds. So to plant this, you need seeds. This is seed. This seed, we actually bought the seed from ABRSC in USA. So we plant this seed. We do what's called genotyping to check whether the plant is homozygous or heterozygous. Okay, because we have the white type and then we have what's called the mutant. The mutant is, is a plant that will knock out a particular gene in order to check the effect when we treat it with the, our bacteria map. So you need this seed. In fact, there is over 5,000 seeds in this thing. There are a lot of seeds here. So you need seed, you need soil. Soil. So I actually use cotter. So now you have seed, you have soil. Definitely we need water, H2O. You need water. And I also use this. This is a plant food, nitroso. Uh, with this kind of like fertilizer, but it's a natural one. So I take it, I use it in the ratio of 1 is to 300. That is 1 milliliter of this nitrosol and 300 milliliters of water to feed my plants once a week. So stay tuned, watch this video to the end. You will learn how to plant Arabidopsis. You can also extrapolate the method to uh, planting of other similar seeds or something like that. So just watch this video to the end. We pasteurize this soil um, before we start planting. We have experience of when our soil had some kind of flies. So it affected our plant. So what we do now we pasteurize this soil at 90 degrees Celsius. We have put our soil in the photoglyph. We we'll give it some time for the temperature to rise to 78 degrees. This is photoglyph soil. Okay. So we, we first of all get it moist, get the soil moist, there is a little water in there. Okay, so what I do is uh, I moist the soil to make sure that it's wet, that's all. Uh, filling up the tray up to the half of the tray for the sun in the tray okay. I try my best to break up all the solid soil Is my seed white type Arabidopsis seed? So I pour my seed in here. This is more than a lot, this is more than a hundred seeds. There, 
So what I do is I spread the seed see, evenly. I make sure I spread the seed evenly on the soil. I kind of sprinkling it. Okay. So now I spread my seed. Okay. So the next thing is to to pour water here. Um, pour water. So you don't want the soil to dry out. You don't have to allow your seed to germinate. Okay. So having poured the water, then I have to go and drop it in our plant room. plant room and then so it's going to be here um, sometimes it takes like one week or more for you to really see the seedlings okay so it's fine the temperature here is controlled the light is controlled we are good to go so we give it for some time then we can after it germinates then we can transplant the seedling to the cup I will show you how we transplant so this seedling is like two weeks old. So I like to transplant when I have like two leaves, no, four leaves or more. Okay, I like transplanting it when it's like four leaves or more. So, um, first of all, I sterilize my spatula to get rid of any contamination or microbes or whatever. So here we go. So first of all, I dig a little hole in the crop, in the soil. I dig a little hole and then I use my spatula and collect one seedling and then it goes in that hole. And then I press it. That's it. Then I dig another hole and then I look for bigger ones then goes in here in the hole so this plant this arabidopsis is very sensitive you have to handle it with care you have to pamper this plant like a baby so i can actually grab the plant and then there are roots here make sure that you don't cut the roots and then you can actually place it in there and then and then close it. Another one. So yeah. So I'm done. Transplanting the seedling from this where I spread it to the curb. Okay. So now the next step is to put water. We have to pour our water in here. Yes. The Arabidopsis plant has been transplanted, as you can see. As you can see, these are four weeks old Arabidopsis today. The four weeks, four weeks old. This is what I use for the Arabidopsis also. For Arabidopsis, this is the nitrosol. Nitrosol, organic, plant food. It's plant food. So, I usually put one milliliter of nitrosol in 300 milliliters of water. So, here I have 600 milliliters. So, what means I'm gonna put two milliliters of nitrosol. Here, take my pipettes. It's one milliliter. This is one thousand microliter. So I shake and I take one because it's still six hundred milliliter. I have to put two milliliters of nitrosol. Mix it well and make sure I mix it properly. And then, yeah, and after mixing it, then I have to pour 
Mitte. So this is how I pour it. I don't pour it directly on top. I pour it so that the plant can take it from the bottom. You can see. So this is how I feed my plants. As you can see, the, these plants that are growing very well, the Arabidopsis seedling. This is five weeks old. The Anna five weeks old. So you can see they look healthy. So they look healthy. It's always say in our plant room, you can see this room is controlled, the temperature is controlled, um, humidity, light, everything plant requires is recreated in this place. So I've given the plant food now as you can see and water. This Arabdusa Talana is six to seven weeks old. I'm about to treat them with my bacteria mouse to us to study the effect of these mumps on the plants. So you can actually see that these plants are looking healthy. They are looking healthy. They are looking happy. This is 12 weeks old Arabidopsis. As you can see, it is already producing seeds that are producing healthy seeds that you can use to plant for future.